Hello everyone. I am here with yet another demo. We cannot identify acids and bases simply by tasting them. This is because certain acids and bases are corrosive and can harm the body. This can be recognized by the effect on certain chemicals or substances called indicator. One such common indicator is litmus paper. Litmus is a natural indicator. It is extracted from a plant called lichen. It is a symbiotic relationship between algae and fungus. There are two different types of litmus paper, red and blue color litmus paper. With the help of this litmus paper, we can able to identify whether the substance is acidic or basic. Blue litmus paper will turn red if the substance is acidic and red litmus paper will turn blue if the substance is basic. Let's find out. Here I have four beakers containing four different types of solutions. Let us find out whether they are acidic or basic. Let me take a blue litmus paper and dip it in the first beaker. Observe the color change. You will notice the blue color turn red. So what do you conclude? The substance in the beaker A must be acidic. Let's perform the same test for beaker B. Let's take the blue litmus paper and let me dip it. Did you find any color change? No, right? It did not change. Let us check the nature of the substance in beaker C. Let us take the blue litmus paper and let us dip it. You will notice that blue litmus paper changes to red. So what do we conclude? The substance in the beaker C must be acidic. Let us take the blue litmus paper and dip it in the fourth beaker or beaker D. Did you find any color change? There is no color change. So what do we conclude from the activity? Substance in the beaker A and substance in the beaker C both are acidic because the blue litmus paper changes to red and these two substances are not acidic. Now let us perform the same activity by changing the color of the litmus paper. This time we will take the red litmus paper and let us try to find out the nature of these solutions. So I will take the red litmus paper and dip it in the first beaker. There is no color change, it remains red only. Now let me dip it in the beaker B. What do you notice? You will find that red litmus paper turns blue. So what do we conclude? Substance B must be basic. In the C, you will find the litmus paper remains the same. That means there is no color change. And let us take the red litmus paper and dip it in the beaker D. You will notice that the beaker D litmus paper, when dip it in the beaker D, it changes to blue. So what do we conclude from this? The substance present in beaker B and beaker D must be basic because there was a color change. The red litmus paper has turned to blue. So with the help of this activity, by using a litmus paper indicator, we can find the nature of the substance by the acidic or basic. For more such magical experiments, stay tuned and subscribe my channel. Thank you.